Hello everyone, it is Brugly, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. The Brugly channel, that is. Today, I want to go over Backrooms level 1912, or 1912, aka the Titanic level. Now, if you don't know, let me learn you something real quick. This month, the month of April, is the month that the Titanic sank, back on April 14th, 1912. So I decided to see if there was a backrooms level about the Titanic, and wouldn't you know it, there was. So sit back and relax, and enjoy the explanation of backrooms level 1912. Let's get into it. Also, stay till the end of the video because I have a question that I want to run past you guys. Backrooms level 1912 is actually surprisingly classified as a class 1 difficulty and is safe, secure, and boasts a low entity count. The level itself is made up of randomly segmented rooms that are exactly like the ones that were on the Titanic, I mean what can I say? There are actually 5 sections that make up this level, and those sections are the first class, the second class, the third class, the maintenance boiler room type area, and then the boat deck itself. Now the entire level takes place on the boat, the Titanic boat, which is way bigger than the original Titanic because this boat is around 25 miles long and around 330 floors tall. That's huge. And the water that this boat is apparently floating in is actually the same size as Earth, but there's no land masses, so it's just water. It's just a floating water ball with a huge boat on it, like what? The only matter in the water are icebergs. I think I'd go insane if I was on an entire planet made of water with only one boat. I, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. The first class section of this level is made up of the rooms and gathering areas that were on the real Titanic and is decorated with fancy wood grain and carpets, just like the real Titanic's first class was. And it's probably the safest section of the level, it's the highest up, and it's the nicest decorated, so I'd be staying here if I could choose. Now following the same theme, the second class is also laid out similarly similarly to the real second class areas on the Titanic, but it's lower down in the ship and it has more entities, but not many because it's still second class, let's be real. On this part, there are empty kitchens and dining rooms that are full of old rancid food and longer skinnier hallways than the first class area. Not very fun. Now the third class part of the level takes up 103 levels of the 330 on the ship, and this is probably the worst out of the classes. Obviously, it's the third, so you'd think it'd be the worst, but yeah, it's the worst. It's got the tiniest rooms, it's got the most cramped hallways, and overall, it's just the dingiest place in the level. Well, maybe not, because the next section of the level is the maintenance area, which is the area where the boiler rooms and the engines are, and all the coal is and stuff. And in this section, it gets extremely hot and humid all the time, probably from the machinery. So it's not really safe to stay down there, but I don't know why you'd go down there, but whatever. Apparently there's also some food storage and almond water storage in this area, but I'm not sure how long it would stay fresh since it's so hot, but you know what? Whatever. The last section of this level is the boat deck itself, and can you guess what it is? Yeah, it's a boat deck. But the weird thing is that it's literally falling apart. The wood on the floor is breaking and splintering, and the fences on the edge are rusty and breaking in half. So that's kind of weird that it's like the most dilapidated area. The entities here, like I said earlier, are typically located on the lower decks of the ship, so the third class and the maintenance boiler areas, and there's actually only a couple of types of entities, which is why the level is only a classified one difficulty. But those types of entities are smilers and frowners, and if you were like me and didn't know what a frowner was, they're similar to smilers but they're more passive, unless they feel threatened or cornered, and then they'll get aggressive. So my advice is to just avoid the lower decks. Simple. There are two groups or outposts that permanently live on this elongated Titanic, and those are the Backrooms Voyagers and the Resi Builders. The Backrooms Voyagers have around 30 people in their group, and they're nice and open to trade with anyone. 
They live in the second class area, and they're currently trying to make a detailed map of the ship's layout so people can find their way around easier. Now the Resi Builders, or the RBs for short, are very secretive, but they're kind of like the security of the level, and they keep it safe, and they also do research on the water in the level to see if there's any dangerous stuff there, but so far, nothing. To enter this level, you can open a door from backrooms level 5 that leads to the second class area on the boat, or you can do one of the other seven entrances. There's plenty of them to choose from. And to exit, you can just go back through that same door to lead back to level 5, or you can find a door labeled The Hub in the first class area, and it'll take you to, well, The Hub. So yeah, to summarize this level, it's a huge boat that's 25 miles long, 350 stories deep, and is laid out very similarly, I can't say it, similarly, to the original Titanic, but obviously it's much larger. The different sections of the level have different decorations and different levels of decay, and there's rotted old food in the kitchens, and for some reason the deck area is the most falling apart dilapidated area, which I'm pretty sure would violate some OSHA codes, but whatever. The only entities here are Smilers and Frowners, which live in the lower levels of the ship, and the water that the boat floats in takes up the area the size of the Earth. You got it? Cool. Alrighty, that was the explanation of level 1912. I do hope you enjoyed it. I thought it'd be pretty cool to check it out since, you know, it's Titanic month. Anyways, hope you liked it. Go check out the description below if you need any links for my socials or my second channel, which by the way, the second channel is popping off right now. Thank you all very much for the support over there. The last two story times are going great. There's many more to come, much more content to come. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited to focus a lot more on that channel and just keep pumping out content. It's great. Thank you for the support. Go drop a sub over there and turn the post notes on because I'm going to be doing a setup tour of my brand new office setup area. It's going to be awesome. I mean, you guys are going to love it. I think it's going to be really cool. And I also hope you're getting ready for May and June for the Brugley Summer Spectacular here on the Brugley channel where I'm going to be posting explanations on backrooms levels 13 through 50 consecutively it's gonna be awesome get ready for that it's gonna be just like the brugmas was where i upload you know in a row videos but these are 37 levels in a row that i'm gonna go over at the very end i'm gonna be combining all of them into like a 10 hour video it's gonna be pretty cool also like i said in the intro i want to run something past the people who are still watching so during the spectacular which like i said is 37 videos in a row i think i want to upload a couple of different kinds of videos that aren't backrooms like a few iceberg videos or a few reddit internet mystery videos or something let me know if you'd be interested in those kind of videos but in the brugley style i don't know i think it'd be pretty fun to do but of course like always the backrooms isn't going anywhere i love it that's what i'm known for that's what i love doing but let me know if you want me to dabble into some more spooky things thank you all for watching till the very end if you're still watching comment brugs to 200k because we're literally as of recording this less than 8k away I, I can't believe it. Thank you all so much. I cannot believe how fast we're growing and just you guys are the best fans. I, I Wow, get ready for the summer. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be crazy. Go sub to Tukli. Turn notice on for Boogly. We're popping out this summer boys. I'll see you later. Peace